y'all. So it is August 31st and I am prepping for some fall knitting. As you will have seen, I went through my fingering weight yarn stash, put a basket together of all yarns that are either fall or Halloween inspired or just make me think of this season. And I caked up two of them today in preparation to cast on tomorrow, September 1st. So these will be socks. I have this very, this is probably one of the oldest skeins of yarn in my stash. This is by Kat's Kettle, who no longer dyes yarn anymore. You guys can probably hear Gracie walking around. It's like I start recording and the dogs just start pacing around the room. <laughs> um, but it's gorgeous. I've just held on to this for years and years and I'm knitting it up. It's just been so special to me and you can't get her yarn anymore. So I've just been waiting to cast this on. So this will be one of my cast ons tomorrow. And then I, since I went with one of the oldest skeins of yarn, in my stash, I thought, let's go with one of the newest. So this is Heathered Handmaids in the Hello Fall color. Oh, I didn't even say the Cat's Kettle Sanderson Sisters. So Hocus Pocus. Um, if you're a Hocus Pocus fan, you can see it when you look at it, but you can't get it anymore. So that one doesn't really matter, but this one is called Hello Fall by Heathered Handmaids. I split this into two because I'm gonna do two at a time socks. It's been so long since I've done two at a time. And I thought, let's do that with one of these new cast ons. So I showed a little bit how I did that. I cake it up into one cake and then I use my scale that I got on Amazon. I think this one is linked to my Amazon storefront. If not, I have, I have so many, like I think I have like three or four that I've bought from Amazon over the years and at least one of them is linked and they're all really great. Um, I've just bought other ones because I mean, I need more apparently, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I use my scale, weigh the cake, divide that into two and then I wind off from that cake that's on the scale, the first little cake. <laughs> and you can see I keep the scale on so that it tells me how much is left. Once I get to the halfway point, I cut it and wind the second half. And then I have two that are roughly the same size. So that works out great. I do have a two at a time tutorial here on YouTube where I go into a little bit more detail about splitting and how I do two at a time and all of those things. So you can find that in the tutorial playlist that I'll link below. But yes, so I am ready now for my knitting. I also prepped my project bag for my oversized seasons cardigan, the yarn, the needles, the pattern, everything is in there and ready to go. Tomorrow we will see if I get enough time to do all of the things. I would like to start both pairs of socks and the cardigan tomorrow on September 1st. I think I just need to make the time for that to happen. A Little bit of self-care, make the time. I think I need to do it. I am today trying to finish up my August Yarnable socks. They are the last pair that I will be trying to finish for summer sock camp and kind of the last project from August that I want to finish up. So we will see if I can get those done. That'll feel so nice. I frogged so much recently, finished so much that I really wanted to go into September with only one sock being on the needles, which is a pair of scrappy socks, and then just all of my scrappy blankets and a prayer shawl. So that'll feel nice, I think, to just have those things on the needles or crochet hook in the, the case of the prayer shawl and ready to just dive into some fall and Halloween yarns for September and October. So I'm not sure if I will record much more today for this first part of the vlog. I wanted to just record some of the prep and talk a bit about what I was gonna be starting on the first. And now I'm gonna go have some lunch and hopefully finish off those August yarnable socks. So I will see you tomorrow for all of the fall and Halloween cast-ons. If I finish those August yarnable socks though, guys, I may have to cast on some stuff today. We'll see what happens. I'll be sure to take y'all along. <laughs>
happy September 1st. It is about 9.30 in the morning. I am somewhat freshly out of the shower, as you can tell by my wet hair. But I had some cleaning to do this morning, stuff to get done. I'm finally all cleaned up, and I just came downstairs with coffee and cookies to get started on some work. I have probably about an hour's worth of work to do this morning. I have some emails, um, YouTube comments where the latest episode just went up yesterday. The morning after I usually go through all the comments and if there's a giveaway or something, there's a lot more comments to go through and I love to go through those, read those. I don't always get to respond to all of them because there can be so many, but I always give them a little heart um, to let you guys know that I have seen them. So yes, lots of that kind of stuff to catch up on this morning. I closed the summer sock camp threads already. I did that earlier because um, summer sock camp is done. That's kind of sad, but we do have our crazy spooky make along for any fall or Halloween inspired yarns starting today. My projects are staring at me over there. I cannot wait to cast them on two socks and a cardigan. I would love to get them all three started today, like just at least cast on so that they're ready to pick up and work on whenever I have a chance. I did finish my yarnable socks. I did not record anything else last night. I was tired, so I did not record anything else, but I did finish my yarnable August socks. So the only socks I have on the needles right now are scrappy socks until I cast on these two. And then this morning, I kind of thought I would cast on one of the new socks for normally like the kids, I'll get up and do my workout. And then when that's done, it's time to get the kids up and moving. So once they're up, I like to just kind of be there. I eat my breakfast, have some coffee, do my Bible study and some knitting, at least 30 minutes of knitting um, while they're getting ready and get them, you know, out the door. And then I have just a little bit more knitting time usually like the way it lines up when they're going out the door I'm starting my 30 minutes of knitting once they're out the door and I sit back down so anyways I was gonna start socks this morning <laughs> I didn't I made myself sit down and do my transition rows on my temperature blanket because part of my morning knitting I always add in one day on my temperature blanket like the previous day's high temperature so I did yesterday is this morning and then did my transition rows from August to September, my little eyelet section. So that is done. It's crossed off the list. It felt good to get it done, but I was kind of like, man, I just want to cast on socks. I'm really, I'm still enjoying the temperature blanket, but I am kind of feeling like, all right, I'm done. I'm done working on this every day, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's as long as I keep caught up with it, it's two rows a day and it's all knitting until I have those six rows of transition rows. And I think that's when I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> all right, so I think I am going to get my work done, eat my cookies, drink some more coffee, and then start some socks. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. All right, all emails are answered, but now I have comments and I just looked. I started answering them and I was like, okay, how many comments are on this episode? The last episode has 644 comments. I just went upstairs and refilled my coffee after I saw that. Last bit of coffee here and I have just a tiny bit of my cookie left. So let's start reading some comments. done reading through comments, responding to some, like I said, I cannot 
get to all of them because 644 comments, that would be <laughs> so much. But I, you guys take the time to comment and I don't want them to go unread. Sometimes things do get a little lost in the shuffle, but know that I do sit down and go through them every day. Even if there are 644 of them, I go through them, I read them, I respond when I can. Um, because you guys are here and you support me and I wouldn't be here doing this if it wasn't for y'all. And you guys always enable me with things. You guys say I'm an enabler. Sometimes when you guys comment things, you're totally enablers as well. <laughs> um, I saved a quilt. Let me find a, just a picture of it. Lucy Boston's Patchwork of the Crosses. It is an English paper piecing quilt. Let's see if I can get that to show there. It's a little, let me make this a little darker. Look how pretty that is. So I saved this um, on Etsy. There's all kinds of stuff on Etsy about it. I don't think, I don't see any quilts with all of the pieces already cut, which I do love that about the one that I'm doing. But obviously, you know, I do have my AccuQuilt. I can hand cut things. It's not a huge deal. Um, the quilt kit is just so nice. <laughs> it takes so much prep work out of it. Um, but I did save that. I'm not diving into that yet, but that will definitely be in the future. I'll have this whole quilt top to finish first. Cannot have more than one going at once. I feel like I probably said that about knitting at one point in time. Okay, I'm going to get casting on. I don't know what I'm going to cast on first. Hmm. I think I'm going to do sock cast on, sweater cast on, sock cast on. How about that? Let's just go in that order. You guys, can you hear that? I really feel like the neighbor, like the people behind us, her and I are on the same schedule for going outside, but I come outside to knit and she comes outside to use the leaf blower every day, 365 days a year. That's what it feels like anyways. Hmm. So I decided to do a pop of color at the cuff with this sock set. So I have a tutorial for this on YouTube, but I basically cast on and do two rounds of Knit 2 Pearl 2 ribbing with the contrast collar and then I've started with my main collar and I am knitting one round and then I will start doing ribbing with this main collar and I will probably, I'm on a kick of 25 rounds of ribbing so that is probably what I will do for this one. brought my iPad out here. I have it sitting on the table over there. I like to try to catch up on some knitting podcasts while, while I'm getting a little bit of knitting done sometimes. <laughs> so I have just caught up on Molly of a Homespun House, her Patreon videos. I had a few to watch. So now I'm going to try to find something to watch on YouTube. My subscription feed I'm pretty caught up on. So let me know below if you guys have any podcast recommendations. It doesn't necessarily have to be knitting. Obviously, I enjoy other crafty things as well. So let me know if you have anything you've been watching on YouTube that you are really enjoying, feeling inspired by. I'm just realizing I'm talking and not paying attention and I was just going to knit away on another round. No. It's time to start the ribbing. All right, I'm going to focus on this, this sock cuff. <laughs> Look, the cuff. 
cuff is done. I am so happy I decided to work with this yarn. It is so gorgeous. It's perfect for a Sanderson Sisters colorway. And it makes me want to watch Hocus Pocus. But I don't think I'll be able to talk Eric into watching it on September 1st. Usually I can get him on my birthday, September 15th. I usually ask to watch Practical Magic or Hocus Pocus some years. Like that's what I want for my birthday. Mexican food, wine, popcorn, watch Hocus Pocus or Practical Magic, whichever one I'm in the mood for. <laughs> and then that usually kicks off, okay, this is the time I'm allowed to watch these movies aloud, I say jokingly, but you know. So yes, love it. Sun, no sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hide under the umbrella here, although it feels amazing outside right now. It is, it says it's 79, but I don't feel like it feels that warm. Even with the sun on me, it doesn't feel that warm. But I, I try to hide from the sun. Um, okay, anyways, I have a couple things to get done in the house really quickly, and then I'm coming back out, putting this up, and I'm going to come back out with my, there's a bug, um, my yarn to start my cardigan. I'm gonna put this little, this little witchy guy on the sock. Oh, he's so cute. He's going on this one. I'm gonna do that real quick. And I think I'll probably put these aside until tomorrow. We have plans tomorrow and I am not driving, so I get to knit. And I think it's like a 35 minute drive. Saturday. It's 9.40 a.m. I didn't really talk much more on the vlog yesterday, but I did get my Seasons cardigan started, and I also cast on my two-at-a-time socks using the Heathered Handmaid's Hello Fall colorway. So I think I got video of a little bit of those. <laughs> so all right, my battery light is now flashing at me, and I've got to go 
get a little bit of knitting done before we head out of the house. We are going to top golf today with the boys and a little bit of shopping at the outlet mall. And then I don't know what else. We will see what else we get up to. Maybe I'll take you guys along for the rest of the weekend. I probably won't chat a lot, but maybe I'll just show you some little snippets of the rest of our weekend to finish out the vlog. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this little, maybe it'll end up being a four day vlog. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know below if you did. Bye y'all.